Hey guys, welcome back to the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel. Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. Um, <laughs> today is the long-awaited part two of my mega mega art haul from 2022. We are now mid-February and um, it's taken me a while to get to filming these but I now need to clear this stuff away and tidy up my space so I really want to get these um, videos filmed. This video is just going to be about the different surfaces, sketchbooks, pads of paper, stuff like that that I've picked up um, like I said in the last quarter, last third of 2022. None of this is from this year. <laughs> All of this is between September, the end of summer to like just before Christmas time sort of stuff. So I'm going to run through this. This is probably going to be a fairly short video because I'm not going to do any painting or drawing or demonstrations on any of these surfaces. Just going to run through them and I will do my absolute best to have as many of these things um, linked below. If there's something specific that you're looking for that I've shown today that is not linked below, please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to link it for you. And uh, yeah, also if you enjoy this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe, do all the good things and I will see you in the next one. The next one's gonna be tools and miscellaneous items. So mo a lot of paintbrushes and stuff like that and other sort of miscellaneous tools and things. Um, all right, so let's jump into it. First up, I have this A3 pad, like sketchbook pad, or just thick drawing paper. Um, I have some ideas for what I want to do with this. I want to do loose, big, sort of mark making, abstract, um, and even with paint, even though it's not necessarily watercolor, but like maybe acrylics um, and things like that to play around with. Oh, okay, so I kept the. All right, I wasn't sure if I'd kept the label or not. So this is by the brand Artistic. It was a two pack of A3 sketchbooks with a craft cover. There's 20 sheets in each one. The paper's 165 GSM or 111 pounds. And it is acid free, so all good things. And I got this off Amazon, so I will, if I can find it, I will link it below. And I got this because um, I was wanting to get the Jackson's sketchbook. Jackson's had just come out with a range of sketchbooks at this time. I'll just take it out from another pile. I ended up getting the A4 studio sketchbook and I have the A6 as well, which I ended up using as like a little color swatch book for my color pencils and stuff before my a trip I had recently. Uh, but the A3 had was out of stock, which is why I purchased this one. Um, but yeah, so I also have the Jackson's Studio Sketchbook in A4. This also has 20 pages. Uh, the paperweight in this one is 140 GSM, so it's a little bit thinner than the eighth and the bigger one that I got. This is 160, yeah. So the one in this book is 165 GSM, so it's thicker than the one in the Jackson's book. But the paper in the Jackson's one is quite nice as well. I haven't tried any sort of wet media on it, but it's not a terrible, it's, it's nice. It's nice with colour pencils. So you get really nice sort of um, colours on that one. Then I have two pads from De La Rowney. So first is their fine grain heavyweight paper. This is so there's 30 sheets, this is also A3. Um, 200 GSM, 120 pounds. So A3 is approximately 16 and a half inches by 11.7 inches. Um, and this is nice thick paper. It has a lovely sort of soft texture to it. Like it's not cold pressed, but it's, I mean, it's very similar to some hot press watercolor papers in terms of texture. Some hot press papers have a slight texture to it. I say this is, this is very much like the kind of texture you get in uh, watercolor sketchbooks that are, that they say they're cold pressed, but they're, and they're cellulose paper. So it's a, a smoother cold press. Something like, a, similar to like a Hanna Mule or a Moleskine sketchbook, if you're familiar with those like a watercolour one. It's not watercolour paper, but I'm talking about the texture of the actual paper itself. So this one has a fine grain to it. And then I also have the heavyweight smooth. This is also, this is 220 GSM, so it's even thicker, 135 pounds, same um, A3 size. And this pad only has 25 sheets in it, probably because the paper's heavier. So it's a nice thick paper. It's a creamier colour than the fine grain so it's a bit more off-white and it's definitely a lot smoother in texture it still has some very very light texture I don't think you'll even be able to see it on the camera 
maybe it's a little bit that um yeah but it's very smooth so i thought these would be fun to play around with again mark making abstracts just playing around sort of paper <clears throat> i have some samples here i have a sample of this lux archival sanded art paper which i must have picked up with the jackson's order at some point um and then i have a few canvasy type materials again pick some of these up um on sale or on offer at jackson's just a couple of each type to try them out so i got two of these cotton canvas boards universally primed 240 gsm 13 by 18 centimeters so what it says here jackson's 240 gsm canvas boards are universally primed and adhere to MDF backing with a pH neutral adhesive, ensuring it is acid free. So I've got two of these. So basically it's just canvas stuck to an MDF backing and primed. And I have a traditional ATGSM medium texture cotton canvas board. So this is just like a cardboard backing there. Again, just to play around with. I've got a small little canvas pad from Jackson's. It's their own brand. 380 GSM, 10 sheets. Let's open this one up and have a look. Let's see what the paper looks like. So yeah, it's just canvas primed on one side and not on the other. So again, just to play around with and see what we can do. Um, I got two of these Legion um, paper pads. So I've got the Legion cotton. So this is 100% cotton paper, uh, soft textured finished finish, ideal for graphite, pastel, colored pencil, and charcoal. So, well, that is nice. It is very soft. So yeah, it's a really nice, slightly off-white, very smooth textured paper. And also the Aqua Hot Press in black. So I think this is fairly recent, the Hot Press um, black watercolour paper. I thought this would be really fun to play with, um, with gouache. So I wanted to try that one out. I think I showed this one in my London Graphics Centre um, haul because I got the larger version of this book and then I showed the smaller one. So really quickly, this is the Fabriano, Fabriano Venezia book. Um, 200 GSM paper. 90 pounds, six by nine inches, or roughly uh, 15 by tw 23 centimeters. Um, it says it's drawing paper, but I've seen lots of people use this for like mixed media work, including wet media on Instagram and other places. So I'm really interested in using it for that purpose. Then we have this stack of paper. It is handmade. I believe it's cotton. I cannot remember. I purchased this from Amazon, so I will have it linked below. That. That blue mark is not on the paper, it's just on the plastic cover. Um, and I got this because I had a specific idea in mind and I wanted the paper to have deckled edges all around and I wanted specifically this size. So I got this pack, I believe it's 50 sheets in the pack. So it was actually pretty good value for the quantity and the quality and thickness of paper. So actually let's get one out and take a look at it. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see see the unevenness. It's, it is handmade paper, so you're not going to get like a soup. It's not going to be super even. There's going to be some imperfections, and that's kind of what I liked about it. And I love the rough sort of deckled edge as well. Um, so I think this will work really well for the idea that I have. I can't remember what the technical, what technically the weight is, what the weight is supposed to be for this technically, but I will, like I said, include the link below to the listing on Amazon, assuming it's still available and that should have all the specifications included in it. I had these two um, pads from Amazon as well. These are by Zen Art Supplies. They're 100% cotton watercolour paper. These were on sale around... Um, oh, when was it? It was around... It must have been around their, like, sec their prime day. Amazon had a second prime day in October, and these were on for, a, like, a ridiculously good price. So I picked up the 9x12 and the 8x8 inch sizes. They both have 20 sheets, 140 pound, 300 GSM paper. And they're both cold pressed, so you can see the texture on this one. 
be interested to see what this looks like painted out. Maybe at the end, if I have a bit of time, I'll do some swatching or some sample painting on this so we can see how that texture paints out on the 8x8 one. So I'll put this one to one side. I haven't unwrapped the 9x12 yet, so I'm going to leave that one wrapped up. Um, and then I'd bought this for myself, again, during that Prime Day deal um, sale, the Moleskin Art Collection Watercolour Notebook in the 200 GSM. Um, so it's, come, it's 200 GSM paper, £135. I believe this 60 pages. So I think what it is is actually 30 sheets, but 60 sides, if I remember correctly. And um, they say it has 25% cotton fiber. Not sure how true that is or whether it really affects how the paper works. But for Christmas, uh, which was after I'd purchased this, my brother bought me the A3 version of this notebook, which was very generous of him. And so now I have the A5, the A4, and now the A3 as well. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to play around with these notebooks, or these sketchbooks rather. Then, again, this must have been on like a ridiculous deal for me to have picked it up, is the SMLT Art Watercolour Pad. This is 35 sheets, A4, um, acid-free, 280 GSM, pretty thick paper. And I actually, the texture is really interesting as well. Again, maybe I'll do some sample swatching on, one of, on this as well. I've not tried the SMLT's... Um, watercolor paper before but I have tried their mixed media paper and I really like it for watercolors so I thought well if I like that so much I might like this one now this one doesn't have any cotton in it but they do do a cotton watercolor paper as well it was just a lot more expensive so I thought I'd try this one I thought it might be fun for some practicing and stuff like that because it's in a spiral bound as well then I'm really enjoying my uh, Talents Art Creation Sketchbooks and I got this A4 size one. It was on sale at TK Maxx for $7.99 so I thought that's a pretty good deal. That's cheaper than you can normally find the A5 size one so I'm uh, not complaining about that. So that's for future use. And then, oh, I have a couple more canvas boards. The same as the other ones, just a couple of extra of those. I didn't realise those were there. And then by Artway Studio on Amazon again I picked up this sketchbook that has 35% cotton I believe if I remember correctly I think it was the Artsway 35 yeah now the texture on it is a lot more pronounced it's supposed to be cold press you can see that I think quite clearly on camera and it definitely looks a bit more machine made so it will be interesting to see how this one paints out as well so maybe these three papers we will test out um, today because I've now finished going over all the different um, items that I got. So I'm gonna test out the Zen Art, the Artway and the SMLT watercolor papers in just a second. I'm gonna tidy this up a bit, lay everything out, and then we'll get to doing some swatches and some practice, like little quick sketches and see how things work. Okay, so rather annoyingly, it just got super cloudy and started to rain. So it's gone a bit dark up here. So I've had to turn my light on. So apologies for that. <coughs> I've labelled the papers, so if you're watching this you'll be able to know which one's which. I've put down some washi tape because we're going to test out how the tape works on this paper. Like, Does it rip afterwards? Does it hold a good seal? And all of that. Um, and then I'm using my Rosa Gallery watercolours, which I have a video coming out soon. If I don't know which one's coming out first, whether it's this video or this palette setup video. So... <sighs> All the videos will be coming eventually. I'm just very behind on catching up on editing. Uh, life has been crazy. So we're going to test out wet on wet. We're going to test out the washi tape. We're going to test out wet on dry. And we're going to do like a simple floral sketch, like nothing super fancy at all. And just see how this paper reacts. Uh, and all, yeah, we'll also test out granulating watercolours as well and see how it reacts to those as well. So... Like I said, this is my Rosa Gallery watercolour set. Why is that pan popping up? There we go. And yeah, so I'm just going to uh, get started. I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to talk through this or not, but let's go with, uh, let's do this one. This is the Nickel Azo Yellow, I believe. I'm trying to remember the names of the colours off the top of my head. Um, so I haven't made a swatch card for this palette yet. It's on my list of things to do. 
Let's see. That went down quite nicely. This is the one that's supposedly 35% cotton. So we'll see. I'm not sure how great of like a, this isn't going to be like a full review. It's more like a first impressions because I'm not sure how much I'll be able to really tell just from doing some swatching and a quick sketch on each paper. But I can immediately feel the cotton and how more, how much more evenly the paint went down on this paper compared to those two. Okay, and then this is, hmm. All right, I know this is cobalt turquoise and it's a, should be a granulating color. Oh. All right, it didn't fully wash out that yellow, so that's fine. Colour is a little bit off on this one just because, like I said, the yellow hadn't fully washed out of the brush. It's not so much about the colour that we're testing, we're just testing how the paper reacts. So, I can already see the granulation is showing up beautifully. I can't really see on this right now because of the light. I'll just move that a little bit that way, maybe that's better. I'll show everything up close once it's dried as well. And with granulating paints as well, you want to make sure you use plenty of water to really show off that granulation effect. Okay, so I can see this one's granulating as well. That one looks really nice. This one's granulating a lot more like how I'd expect it on like cotton paper. So now that I've said that, we'll see how it looks on the actual cotton paper. Okay, um, and I'm just gonna swatch a couple of colors, maybe do some, um, I was gonna do wet on wet, wasn't I? <laughs> I haven't done that yet. So let's, let's test out some wet on wet on these papers. A little wet area. Let's go for a color that moves. I think this one. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this might be, is this Indian Thream Blue or Prussian Blue? I can't remember now which one I got. Okay, yeah, I think it's Prussian Blue. That does pretty well. wet on wet and um what should i do next i'll do a little color blend how's that we'll go from one color to another and see how they blend together right so um let's just go for this sort of magenta i think this is a magenta quinacridone magenta type color Okay, that radiates quite nicely on there. And um, what should we mix with? Uh, let's mix with. Oh, since it's activated, we'll go with the the Nicolazzo yellow. be honest this artway paper feels a lot like most of the sketchbook papers in like watercolor sketchbooks that aren't they don't have any cotton in them it has that kind of almost like coated texture
Okay. So far so good. They're all looking pretty decent. Uh, the granulation looks really nice in the cobalt turquoise on this one. In this one you can see it, it's just not as pretty, I don't think, as that one. And this one, it's there but it's very subtle. Maybe I didn't use enough pigment or enough water, I'm not sure. But it's quite subtle but it is there. Alright, I'm going to do like a quick little like flower and some leaves sort of sketch. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and have a look and see how that looks at the end. Okay, so with this first paper, um, I'd say it was drying very quickly. It's drying a bit unevenly as well. That could just be to do with the way how much water has been put down where. Um, by the time I finished the flower and did three leaves, the middle, most of the flower pe petals had dried. So when I went back to add in a bit more colour, it's just sitting there. It's not spreading out, diffusing nicely as it would in like a wetter wash um, or a wetter flower. If, had the petals stayed wet so we're just going to try this again on the next paper, two papers and we'll see how they react okay yeah I'd say this one has a similar problem a bit more uneven um, drying some of the petals are dried some hadn't so it's all very uneven in terms of when I go to drop in more colour, what's going to blend and what's not. Alright, last one here. Okay, so they all seem to have been drying quite quickly, although I would say the 100% cotton one has dried ignore the second layer that I did but underneath it as I was painting the leaves I could see that it was a lot more even um, and even the leaves you can see are drying a lot more so far evenly than the other two but still wet so we'll see um, the petals had started to dry as well on this one but again more of them had remained wet so interesting to see there I mean the drying time could be to do with the fact that we have the heating on so it's quite dry in here at the moment as well in terms of the other areas, um, yeah, they're all looking pretty good. I'm going to take the washi tape off now, then I'm going to let everything dry completely and we will come back and talk about... Ah, okay, so that washi tape's already ripping. Um, I know you're supposed to wait for the papers to dry, but I'm usually way too impatient for that. So I'm going to do what I would normally do and take off the paper now. I'm going to let all this dry and then we'll come back and have a chat. Okay, back now. Everything is dry, so I thought we would go through it all. So, this is what the SMLT watercolour pad looks like. So the granulating colour looks pretty on it. The paper is definitely a little bit soft and so doesn't like the tape as much. You can see there it's sort of uh, torn up the paper a little bit. It's not too bad. The only place it's actually really torn is right there. Uh, but had I waited for the paint to dry, that might not have happened. Um, also, if you have this issue with your watercolour paper tearing or pulling up a little bit when you take tape off of it, you can run a hairdryer over the tape first and that loosens up the glue a bit so then it will come off a bit cleaner. Uh, the colour blending, not too bad. Not the best, not the worst. Um, a little bit of shininess at the master on this part of the magenta, but that could just be me having put too much pigment down. The wet on wet looks pretty good. Nice texture happening from where the colour spreads out. And in the end, the flower doesn't look too bad. It's not perfect, but it's not the worst uh, for a little sketch. Then the Artway Indigo that says it has 35% cotton in it. This one did really well. With the tape, the tape came off nice and cleanly. Cleanly, the granulating watercolor is 
you can definitely see the granulation more in person. I'm having a hard time getting it to show up on camera as much. Um, the colour blend looks okay. It's a little bit streaky where I run the brush over it. The wet on wet looks interesting. It's definitely different than the other one. And there we go with the flower. So you just see, really basic. Um, again, the, the petals were drying very unevenly with this one. I feel like this would be good for like looser sort of work where you're not trying to get very specific, um, like, what's the word? be too detailed with it. I think this would be fun for looser stuff. It's um, definitely feels more like um, like a Stillman and Burn type of paper. It has like how the cut page actually feels or like a moleskin. It has that kind of plasticky or coated kind of feel to it. And then finally, now my battery light is flashing so you need to get through this, um, is the Zen Art Supplies. Here we had a bit of pigment paint leak through but that's probably just because I didn't stick the tape down properly but the tape came off nice and cleanly no issues whatsoever the granulating watercolor does show up some granulation but it's definitely subtle it could just be I should have gone with a different color but it doesn't show up as well as it did on the SMLT paper I think this one really shows up the granulation a lot a lot more than okay so what I was saying was the um, granulation doesn't look as it looks the best on the smlt watercolor pad for some reason um but i do like how subtle it is on this paper as well i think the wet on wet looks the best on the cotton paper also the blending is the smoothest and the most seamless on the cotton paper as well without me having had to do much work to it you saw how i did it i just put the color down put the other color down did a quick little blend and then left it and the rest of it was all the paper and paint doing it themselves. I definitely think it did better than the other two papers in the blending department. Definitely no streaks at all. Um, and the little sort of sketch painting at the bottom, um, yeah, it looks fine. Definitely, I think the colors are more even on the leaves um, in terms of how they dried more evenly. Um, don't have a lot of those hard lines and splotchy sort of effect. But um, but I'm absolutely fine with using cellulose paper as well. It's just knowing that you're going to get that different effect and knowing how to work with it. So yeah, those are the how these papers have stacked up against each other. I wasn't really planning on doing this, so this was kind of off the cuff. Um, so apologies if I didn't do some sort of test that you would have really liked to have seen. But um, but yeah that's what we have for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'll have links to as much as I can below this video for you. Um, some of them will be affiliate links and that just really helps out the channel. So I appreciate it if you, when you use them and yeah, I will see you guys very soon for the final part of this mega swatching session haul thing. All right. See you then. Bye.